What's up everybody? Once again, my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we dispelled the Twilight here in Farron Woods and returned to our human form. And in this episode, well, it's time to start our very first temple, so let's do it. I'm pretty dang excited actually. Now when you first get in this temple, just keep moving forward because it is fairly dark. But eventually, you'll make your way into the foyer of this temple and it's a lot brighter in here, so don't worry too much about using your lantern. You really don't need it, but here we are inside the forest temple. This is the first temple in the game, but uh, it is still pretty lengthy. Like, I will say that much about Twilight Princess. All of the temples in this game, they do take some time to complete, so in order to, you know, make progress and not waste too much time, I'm going to explain things sort of as we're going along. That way I'm not like standing around pointing things out. And I think that'll make these temples just go by a little bit quicker. So if you are using this as sort of a guide, just try and pay attention to what I'm doing. And that should be enough to help you get by. But yeah, the reason why I climb these vines is because there's a chest up here that contains 10 rupees. Not really too important, but it is always nice to pad your wallet. Anyways, now that we got that though, there's really not too much else that we need to worry about in this room. Just gotta get rid of some of the enemies, and of course, we wanna free the monkey that is in this cage. Before we do that though, let's take out these spiders, cause we will need to climb these vines afterward. And um, this is actually the same monkey that stole our lantern, and the one that was captured with Tallow, so yeah, she seems to get in danger a lot. Thankfully though, it seems like she does wanna help us out in this temple, so that's good for us I suppose. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. I was just saying that. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? Yeah, so monkeys play a pretty big role in this temple. And I said monkeys because there are more than one of them. And you will need to rescue all of them to pretty much complete this temple. Thankfully though, they're helpful and they don't get in the way. So as long as you can stand like the constant chirping that they make, you'll be fine. Anyways, check it out! A new enemy! This is actually a Skulltula. Yeah, I know, they look a lot differently than the ones in Ocarina of Time. Anyways, just stab them a few times and you'll be able to kill them easily enough. Now, the uh, puzzle in this room requires you to light all four of these torches, but don't do that just yet. Instead, jump down because, check it out, there's a cracked wall. Now, we don't have bombs, but we have the next best thing. This plant is called a bombling, so as soon as you hit it, it will start to sort of self-destruct and we can use that to blow up cracked walls or rocks, junk like that. And now, we can get this chest, which contains a red rupee, which of course is worth 20 rupees. Not bad at all. I don't really know why I'm collecting all these rupees, considering we don't really need them right now, but eh, whatever. They might come in handy later on. All right, so now that we got that, let's light all four of these torches, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, why I wanted to get those rupees first because yeah as soon as you light all four of these torches These platforms are going to rise up and block that path later on You will get an item that will allow you to extinguish those torches But it's easier just to pick it up now rather than later speaking of items Let's open up this chest and get ourselves something pretty dang important. It's the dungeon map So now we can pretty much see where we're going and stuff like that Alright, so now that we got that, what do you say we follow this monkey? She really wants us to go through this door. And honestly, I kind of trust her since she probably knows this temple way better than we do. And man, this outside area looks really stinking cool. That bridge totally looks unsafe though. I would not go across that monkey. That is probably not safe. You are way braver than I am. And that guy looks pretty pissed off actually. I wonder where he got that cool boomerang. That actually might be the forbidden power that the Spirit of Light was talking about. Like it- Wow, that is rude. Do not smack your butt at me. The boomerang did appear to emit some sort of like, dark aura, so that could be it. Monkey doesn't seem too disappointed though. It seems like she has a plan B, so that's good for us. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? You've been paying attention. Oh no, now we can't go any further. We might as well head back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. That's what I was saying, man. The monkey seems to have a plan B, so let's just listen to the monkey. I know it seems kind of weird, but she knows something that we don't. All right, so the monkey wants us to go across here. And this is pretty much why you need all of the monkeys, because you can use them as a... Uh, 
tools to cross larger gaps pretty much so basically our goal is to find the remaining monkeys that way we can use them to cross the bridge that just got knocked down uh before we do that though let's take out this bombling because there's actually a cracked wall here and there's something pretty interesting on the other side like at first it doesn't seem like much but yeah that pot seems to wiggle in it looks like there's something inside and yeah, wouldn't you look at that, there's this guy. Phew, out at last. Gracious, once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help, thanks. I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes. You must need something here too. Shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? You may not think I look like much, but I can be quite helpful. I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. All right, so this is an uku. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's like half chicken with like a human head. It's really bizarre, but basically you can use them to warp out of the temple if you really want to. I personally don't find them that useful, but yeah, they're there if you want to use them, I guess. And that's really all I can say about it. Like it's such a bizarre item, if you will, but whatever. Alright, so back to the temple. Basically, the monkey's gonna want you to go across here. As you can see, there's a spider on the way, but before we take care of that, let's go through this door because we actually will need an item to progress through this room. And rather than, like, you know, going through the motions of getting up to the point where we need said item, I'd rather just go and get it now to make things go a little bit faster. So, let's just roll all the way to the other side and go into this room. Now, we can't really do anything in here, but there is a chest, so let's open this up real quick and just get what we need because, check it out, it is a small key. Now, there is another one of those bridges that, like, moves around with the wind in here. However, since we don't really have anything we can use to... Uh, manipulate the wind that's sort of stuck for now later on in the temple We will get an item that will allow us to do that freely on our own So we'll have to come back here, you know once we get that item, but now that we have the key Let's go back to where the monkey is and keep following her So of course she was afraid of the spider Let's just knock it down and if you stand perfectly still yeah The spider will try and like lunge at you, but just end up falling in the water and kill itself It's kind of funny now, down there, there's actually a chest trapped behind, like, a gate, and you need to solve a puzzle with an item that we don't have yet, so we're gonna ignore that for now, and instead, we will just use the small key that we got to unlock this door. And, uh, wouldn't you know it, there is actually another trapped monkey in here. So that's obviously what this monkey was leading us towards, and holy crap, they're going insane, man. They really do not like being trapped up. So I guess it's up to us to, uh, free that monkey then. It should be pretty easy. And yeah, as soon as you go across that, the bridge will break no matter what. It's a scripted event. You can't even, like, jump off to the side if you wanted to. Anyways, to free this monkey, yeah, just roll into it. And then, uh, roll into it two more times really quickly. And bam, there you go. It'll fall down and he'll break out of his little cage or whatever. But these guys are not too happy about that, so... We'll just take care of them real quick. They look like they have, like, old granny here. I just realized that. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to, like, ever notice that, but kind of funny. Anyways, uh, right under the platform that you stepped in when you came in this room is a chest, and it contains a yellow rupee. Not a big deal. Just easy to pick up. But now that we rescued the monkey, there's really nothing else for us to do in this room, so let's get out of here, I suppose. These steps can be kind of weird. Like, I don't know, Link like, walks up steps really weirdly sometimes. Like, sometimes they'll just, like, move up them smoothly. Other times, like, he has to stop and, like, actually step up the gap. Like, I don't even know what the deal is, but... Ah, whatever. Not a big deal. Um... Now that we have these two monkeys, though, we're pretty much done in this room for now, so... Let's head back to the hub room of this temple. Don't worry too much about the monkeys. They will follow you just fine. The only thing you really need to worry about is if um, enemies are in your way. Sometimes it can spook the monkeys, but for the most part, they will follow you just fine. Anyways, now that we are pretty much back in the hub room of this temple with our two monkeys, we can pretty much go a different direction. So this first monkey will still allow us to cross back and forth from the uh, left side, 
but our new monkey friend will allow us to cross over to the right side. Wow, I can't believe I screwed that up. <laughs> I rarely screw that up. Like, it's really easy to time, but I guess I just pressed it a little too soon. Let's try this again. I'll wait it out this time. There we go. So now that we're on the right side, we can just burn this web and move on through this door. The monkeys will wait there for us. We really don't need them in this room anyways. We're actually going to find a couple of new enemies in this room. I believe this is actually called a, uh, I think it's a Deku Serpent, I want to say. It's kind of like a Deku Baba, except... When you like cut it off its base, it's still alive for a little bit, so keep that in mind. And then there's also, um, I believe this is a Deku like. There's actually a chest behind this one, so keep that in mind. But basically, Deku likes will eat anything that goes above them, so that's kind of a clue at what you need to do to defeat them. And uh, since there is one blocking our way, what you want to do is pretty much grab this uh, bombling and we can just throw it right over, and bam, there you go. The Deku like is going to eat that up. And of course, it's also going to uh, blow him up. How is that for indigestion? But yeah, so now that he has gone out of our way, we can just uh, jump this gap freely. Except, I still actually do need another bombling to blow up that rock that's in our way. So let's just quickly... Oh crap, I got stuck on a wall. That's not good, man. These things... Yeah, they do not last very long. They blow up very quickly. That kind of does bring up... One thing that I dislike about the Wii version of this game is the camera controls. Since there is no second analog nub, you can't like adjust the camera as you're sort of going along. Everything has to be adjusted via Z targeting. That is very arbitrary. Like, you would not believe how long it took me to get used to playing this game again with just using the Z target to, you know, realign my camera controls, especially if you're coming off of this game after something like Wind Waker or any other game where you can use a second analog nub to, you know, adjust your camera. It's just so useful, which is kind of why I do prefer the GameCube version, just for those tweaks in camera controls. Anyway, so that monkey is locked, and if you look on top of this uh, totem, there's actually a chest. So. We can roll into it to knock it down, and inside this chest is actually what we need to unlock the cage that that monkey is in. It's just another small key. Alright, now there's actually a new type of enemy. I forget what these guys are called, but basically they hide underneath tiles, and if you step on one of them, they will launch you into the air. Now you're supposed to just like avoid them, however the easiest way to do that is just by jumping in the water and climbing up over here. Then you don't have to deal with them at all. But uh, basically what you want to do here, similar to the puzzle in the main hub, just light all the torches to raise up the platforms and then we can reach the monkeys. Of course avoid stepping on the tiles that have the weird like moles underneath them. You might have been able to see it too in that cutscene, there's actually a chest hidden behind all of these platforms. Again similar to the one in the main room except we can't actually get that one just yet. Like I said, we still need to get an item that will allow us to extinguish the flames. Uh, be careful because, yeah, there's another skull up here as well. So let's just take this guy out real quick. And now we can free our monkey friend. So come on, dude. We need your help. All right. Um, I think, actually, no, wait. There is one more thing that we can do inside this room. I believe there is a chest up here. Pretty sure it's just, uh, more rupees, but we might as well get it while we're here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this in every single temple, it's just that I know where all these little chests are because this is probably the temple that I've played the most in Twilight Princess, so it makes sense that, you know, I know where everything is, but in, like, all the future temples, I probably won't bother going after all, like, the little tiny chests that contain rupees and other stuff that we don't really need to complete the temple. I might point them out to you, but I won't bother, like, picking them up. Anyways, um, before we actually leave this room and go back to the main room, we can actually save another monkey. So, let's take out these two spiders real quick. And, uh, let me put away my lantern because I totally did not mean to take that out. But, uh, we can jump across to these vines. There we go. <laughs> and the monkey just fell down. Whoops! Don't worry, he'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Uh, but we- Oh, he actually teleported back up to us. See? He's fine. But yeah, we want to go in this room because... Well, guess what? There's actually another monkey that we can save. So we can take two monkeys back to the main room this time. But, of course, he's behind a locked door and we need a key. Thankfully, there's a key right there, but... 
Bad news for us, this weird, like, hybrid enemy has eaten it. It's like a Deku Serpent and a Deku-like combined. I'm not actually sure what this thing is called, but it doesn't really matter. Regardless, we need to take it out. Don't worry, though, it's actually fairly easy. Just, um, try and dodge all of its attacks and then counterattack with, like, a jump attack. You do that a few times, and it should go down, no problem. I would call this thing like a mini boss, but honestly, it is way too easy to be a mini boss. So there we go. We got rid of like the Deku Baba portion of it, and now it's just the Deku like. So let's just grab one of these bomblings, and we know what to do. There you go, friend. Eat that up. I'm sure it's very tasty. Thankfully, this does not blow up the key. That would actually cause some problems, but it does get rid of the enemy. And ta-da! There is our lovely little key, safe and sound for us. So let's just pick this up real quick. There we go. I always forget like how close you actually have to be to something to pick it up in this game. It's kind of strange, but whatever. Now we can free this monkey. So come on, buddy. You're free, come with us. All right, so now we got like a little bit of an entourage going on with us. And we pretty much need to bring these guys back to the main room. But there's one more thing that I want to do before we do that. Don't worry, it's on the way and it won't take too much time. In fact, it's right over here. There is another bombling. Now, remember that first Deku like that I pointed out in this room? Well, if we take this bombling and just chuck it off over here, check it out. Yep, that Deku like is going to eat it up. And now we can get access to the chest that is behind it. Which is good for us because that actually contains something very important. The fastest way down is to just, uh, backflip down. Don't worry, you won't take any damage. Anyways, let's open up this chest and we can get ourselves a piece of heart. Now, don't quote me on this, but I believe there are two pieces of heart per temple in this game. I could be wrong about that, but if memory serves me well, there's at least two per temple. All right, so now that we have four monkeys back in the main room, we actually do have enough monkeys to cross the gap of that bridge now. But, you know what? I think we're gonna do that in the next episode. The monkeys are really excited. So if you guys enjoyed this part of like rating, would be greatly appreciated. If you wanna see more, consider subscribing. But, once again guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.